Welcome back and welcome to blog, Vlogmas Day 13 and today I'm going to do another Top 10 Tuesday for you. I am going to bring you my Top 10 Christmas reads, my Top 10 Christmas books. These are from over various years. Um, I'm not sure that <clears throat> any of them are specifically from this year but um, they're all still available to get. So. If you would like an alternative Top 10 Tuesday, there is a different Top 10 Tuesday over on my blog and the link's in the description to that. So if you want to do another Top 10 Tuesday, then uh, you can go there and find out what the Top 10 Tuesday is on my blog this week. Okay, going to head straight into it. I'm sorry I don't have the physical books because either I've given them away to people or um, I read these on... Uh, ebook or I've left them at school various things like that so number one uh, my true love gave to me which is a collection of um, I think 12 short stories written by various YA authors and they've all got various different YA themes to them and it's all edited by Stephanie Perkins and it's just a lovely Christmassy thing to read at this time of year when you kind of don't have the time to sit down and read a massive book necessarily so to be able to pick up the Christmas stories and just read one and then the next day read another one. Uh, number two is How to Stuff Up Christmas by Rosie Blake. I went to the launch of this one last year in my Christmas jumper, not this particular Christmas jumper, a different one. Um, and it's just, if you've read How to Get a Love Life by Rosie Blake, you'll know that her writing is incredibly humorous. And I started to read it on the tube on the way home and um, kind of had to stop myself from laughing out loud too much. Um, but there are, there's just just so many funny moments there's some physical comedy in there there's some witty moments in there we've, we've got a festive cup of tea to join us here so how to stuff up christmas by rosie blake number three another very funny one is um i heart christmas by lindsay kelk if you're a fan of the i heart series at all then you'll uh, have heard of this one probably read this one um it is part of this series, but you could probably pick it up and read it if you didn't want to read the rest of the series. I don't know why you wouldn't want to read the rest of the series, because it's an amazing series, and they're quite quick reads, so you could definitely get through them in time to read I Heart Christmas at Christmas time. Again, incredibly funny, but some real, relatable, real-life Christmas messages and incidents in there. Number four is The French for Christmas by Fiona Valpy. Now, she's done three The French for books, I think, um, and they're all fantastic. I think there's The French for Always and The French for Love and The French for Christmas. And um, they're not any kind of series, but they all kind of take place in the same way. People sort of escaping to France and sort of staying in a, a farmhouse and things happen. And it's just, it's a really easy, comforting, cosy, heartwarming, yet different Christmas read. Um, and if you haven't um, read any of those ones, I definitely recommend those ones. Another selection of short stories, shorter stories, is um, Let It Snow, which there's um, three stories in the book, one by John Green, one by Lauren Miracle, and one by Maureen Johnson, and they're all fantastic. And again, I read this, I think I read this kind of over a Christmas Eve, Christmas Day, because there's, again, not a lot of time to sit down and read a full book at that point of the year. And so while I was waiting for something to happen on Christmas Eve, I read one of them. And then when I was waiting for turkey to cook on Christmas Day, I read another. And then in that kind of after lunch lull on Christmas Day, I read the third one. And it was just nice to be able to read the kind of shorter stories and pick that up. And the cover, no matter whether you get the US cover or the UK cover, cover or the hardback cover they're all beautiful and I lent my copy to someone and I haven't got it and I'm like I could just buy another one so I've got the pretty book sitting on my shelf maybe maybe not uh, now I have two by the same author here I cheated a little bit but this particular author does write a fantastic 
um, Christmas read. So we've got Just for Christmas by Scarlett Bailey and then we've got The Night Before Christmas by Scarlett Bailey. The Night Before Christmas was the first one of hers that I read and it's absolutely hilarious. I heard her read an extract of it um, at a kind of Christmas book event that I went to in Brixton and the, the extract she read was just so hilarious and then I had to go away and kind of keep reading it and it's it's set again with a group of people and the kind of mishaps that can happen around about Christmas time. Scarlett Bailey writes a very um a very readable funny slightly would this really happen in real life kind of Christmas book and they're just fantastic and then just for Christmas sets up the kind of follow-up novel two weddings and a baby which I'm actually in my name's actually in um, and so I've got yeah massive love for those two books um, and it's something that I could definitely see myself rereading at Christmas time because they're fun easy reads. Another one that I really love is by Jenny Colgan. Um, she's done various Christmas reads. This year her Christmas read is Christmas at the Little Beach Street Bakery um which i haven't read um <clears throat> but she brought out a couple of christmas reads last year but one from a few years ago was um christmas at the cupcake cafe again it's a follow-up to welcome to the cupcake cafe both books you should definitely read so like warm and just yeah proper heartwarming stuff with a good strong storyline bit of romance bit of want to make you cry but the christmas follow-up is just like oh and i think i read it all in one sitting because it was just so nice um then number nine is one wish in manhattan by mandy baggett which i read on a plane i think last yeah, I read most of it on a plane and um, it again is such a fantastic story, very quick read, heartwarming, it's exactly the kind of thing you would want to have at this time of year. A little bit of a sort of mystery in there, you don't know what's going on with one of the characters but one of the biggest things is that they come to Manhattan and they kind of are filled with the joys of Manhattan as well as the joys of Christmas time which is just what you want really isn't it and then the final one again is a shorter read and is a middle grade book and it is Geek Girl All Wrapped Up by Holly Smale now this one is part of the Geek Girl series and if you haven't read any of that again go and read it now such a fantastic series um, and this one kind of comes between I think books four and five or three and four I'm trying to remember which books it comes between. I might be completely wrong, it's between five and six. Um, but it is a novella of sorts. And the way I read this book, I read it um, last Christmas with um, some of the kids at school. And we read it over four lunch times. And the girls would come and they'd bring their lunch and um, we'd take it in turns to read out loud. So I would read some out loud while they ate and then they would take it in turns to read some out loud while I ate my lunch. And we finished it in, yeah, sort of three and a half slash four lunch times. And it's just, oh, it's just such a nice read. Harriet Manners is such an excitable character at the best of times. You can imagine what Harriet Manners is like at Christmas time. I have got a review of all of these books on my blog so if you want to go over there and search for them you can find them on there or it'll be on my goodreads in my red books i've got reviews of all of them on there as well so if you're interested in hearing more about them then you can hear more of my thoughts on there but all these books definitely recommend go and buy them go and download them now and uh, enjoy a nice festive read. I will have another video for you tomorrow. I'm sorry this has been a long one, but it's only been a minute a book. Not too bad. Have a good day. Bye.